it's Achim from Inner Space Explorers and today we start something completely new and it's based on this box and um, you all know my basement um, you've seen plenty of how-to videos there and whenever I was crawling through that mess I came <laughs> I passed this box and I was always like oh, what's what's in there and then whatever I mean so it's sitting there for a while and um, this morning I was, I was back in that corner and I saw it again and I, I had a bit of an idea because it says DR on it um, and yeah I have a pretty good idea what's in there and uh, so we check that out together now and if it is what I think it is then um, this could be uh, something pretty cool so let's see and what if not? Uh, if it's not what I think, then it's probably a big surprise and we will see. And if it's, uh, if it's nonsense and not good for the video, then we'll delete the video and nobody will ever know. Okay. So let's have a look. <laughs> it is what I thought it is, because DR stands for Draga Ray. So it's a Draga Ray rebreather, um, and if I remember correct, it's actually a more or less brand new one that sits there for a good while and um, yeah that's actually pretty cool the reason I think it's pretty cool and the reason I started this video is that I'm pretty unhappy with the oxygen rebreather situation so if you follow a little bit this oxygen rebreather topic you um, you realize that my original Gastoro, uh, OMG Gastoro was stolen. I never found proper um, a, a proper replacement for that. So now we uh, we teach on the on the Sanusok Gastoro, which obviously I have one, which usually is used by students. And um, the problem is for me, I mean it's a, it, it's an okay unit, but I always compare it with my old original, and. Um, that always makes me crazy because it got stolen and I couldn't do anything about it and I couldn't replace it and um, so I'm, I'm still looking for, for a good oxygen rebreather for myself that I'm completely happy with and that brings me back to the Ray the Ray as it was, as it was originally designed by Draeger obviously was a dead end road so to speak and um, so it hasn't been produced for a long time and it was not very successful because um, semi-closed rebreather with 50% nitrox and a limited depth of 22 meters yeah I was never really sure how they came up with this idea um, nevertheless Draeger is a very high quality um, company and the stuff they produced is pretty high quality and um, I always like the ray from the from the design I think it's pretty fancy and um, this thing actually can be converted into an awesome oxygen rebreather. So the breathing, um, the, the work of breathing is excellent. Um, spare parts are available, and um, there's a couple of different methods of how to get it into an oxygen rebreather. And um, so probably I should I should explain to you a little bit how this thing works in case you don't know. If you know the uh, the, the drag array, you can actually fast forward to the next step. Um, if not, I'll give you a quick introduction into the into the unit. All right. So this is um, let's say the BCD and the counter lungs in one. Um, so you have these uh, halfway over the shoulder counter lungs, you have the breathing loop, um, this is a, an air vent for the, for the BCD, uh, actually, no that's actually from the counter lung, is it? No that's BCD, 
And um, if you look at it from the outside, you have the, the scrubber inside here. This is the connector for the oxy gauge, which I don't have and which obviously I don't need. And um, here's the connections to the, to the counter lung, inlet outlet. And then the bottle, which I don't have here, goes in here square. Then you have the first stage, which has this weird connection for the special trigger nitrox, whatever, um, which we also don't need, so we're going to replace that. Then you have a bailout rack, and then this is the, the gas addition, which is the mass flow. And this was available for 50, for 32%, and I think there was even one for 100%, but it is a constant flow, which I always hated that. It's a, I mean, a rebreather that bubbles is, yeah. Whatever, that goes in here. And the uh, Drager has this so-called P-port system. It's all the same, so you, I'm not sure if you, if you can see that. Maybe the camera lady can move in a little bit. So that's what's called a P-port. So there's these two clamps here on the inside, and if you press the button, they actually go away. And they, you have a sealing o-ring here, and you have a groove here. So what you do is you press this, you press it in, and then you hear this click. And now it's in there and it's sealed. And if you want to remove it again, you press that button and you can pull it out. And that's the same system that also attaches the counter lungs with the scrubber and basically everything else on that rebreather. Okay, so converting it to an oxygen rebreather, obviously we don't want the mass flow. That's that's so to speak. And um, so the mass flow is in here. So. What I can, and the other thing is that's uh, basically um, a second stage. So um, you can open that up, and you have a diaphragm here, as you can see. And this is like a second stage. If I, yeah. So if I open that up, you see the lever. That's basically like a, like every second stage, and there's also the outlet for the mass flow here. So. If you close the mass flow, um, you also have to change this, the first stage because this first stage doesn't really seal 100%. And if there is no continuous flow, it actually starts to um, build up intermediate pressure. But that's something I'm going to do anyway. So, um, a different first stage. We can close the mass flow here, and then obviously it's, um, it's triggered like a automatic dilutant valve, oxygen valve, whatever. So you inhale, you have not a lot of volume, you create a vacuum, and the um, diaphragm sucked in and you get gas into the system. The problem is you don't have a manual addition. So that would mean you have to add another um, piece of kit, which uh, let me sh show you that. already prepared a couple of things. So I would have to come up with something like that. That's a manual addition valve, which would be over the shoulder and I could inject oxygen, like on a kiss for example. So that obviously would be nice. Um, I can add oxygen manually and I can have the trigger of the, of the second stage, so to speak. The other option would obviously be to remove this, put in one of those elbows, which again, P-port, yeah, click that in, boom, and come in here with an oxygen, with a hose, so I have to, to make an adapter on the lace, it's not a, not a big deal, and just come with this. So then it's a complete manual unit similar to the Gustoro. So if you want gas in there, you press the button, you have gas. You don't press the button, no gas. Fine for me, very simple. The other option would be to come with a constant feeding valve like in the KISS. So this produces um, 0.7 liters of oxygen per minute. You obviously then need a first stage where the intermediate pressure is plugged off. And um, 
that could also be an option. So um, if I take this, I have a constant feed of 0 0.7 liters in the system and if I don't have enough, I can still press the button and add it manually. Of course, I mean, if you want the best of all worlds, um, we could combine that with the second stage. And um, if I have an inhale very deep, I could still override this and have this feeding gas. Um, I'm not sure yet what I'm going to do. Just wanted to, to show you the system a little bit. Super happy that it was in the box. And um, so the next video will be the conversion. So I'll think a little bit about it and figure out what I really want. And then I'll show you, uh, I'll give you a how-to video of the conversion. And um, when that is done, we'll actually go and for a dive and I'll take you for the dive and show you how it works. So I hope you like that. If you have questions, comments, ideas, put it in the comment section. If you like it, please give us thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so and hit that little bell so you get notification when we have new uploads. Other than that, stay safe and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Hi, it's Aaron from Inner Space Explorers and <laughs> Jetzt auf mit die Hände abzuhitten, du blöde Töne.